Hello guys, my name is Przemek Chojecki and today I'm going to review IBM Data Science Professional Certificate, which is one of the most popular courses on data science on Coursera right now, uh, with over almost 200,000 students enrolled and there is a massive positive ratings. Uh, the average is 4.6, which is really, really great. And I just wanted to look at the course, see what's inside and whether it's worth your time or not and answer the question who the course is for. So having, to, having the summary right now, uh, basically this course is really for beginners, for people who want to start their career in data science, don't know where to start, or maybe also for people who are in business, they don't want to go into data science per se as a career choice, but they want to learn more about data science in order to apply that business. Uh, this is also the course for them, as you will see, because there are plenty of material about business and it's more commercially oriented, which is great. The cost for IBM Data Science Professional Certificate is around $39 per month. So you pay a monthly fee as is with uh, Coursera, but there's a good, uh, so, so that's if you want to get a certificate, but you can audit all the courses for free, uh, as you will see. So I'll show you later on how to do that. Uh, if you want to just browse through some of the materials, you don't want to go through the whole certificate and you don't want to uh, have the certificate, you just want to have some knowledge from the courses, then you can also do that. So I will show you that along the way. So if you go down below, then you basically see what's inside the course. Uh, th there are a bunch of projects that you will learn, that you will do along the way. Uh, that definitely are very practical and will help you with your ca coding career. Um, at the end, you also do an applied project, uh, the Capstone project. Uh, basically, the technological stack for this project is uh, Jupyter, Jupyter Lab, uh, and then you do everything basically in Python uh, using libraries. Uh, like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Seaborn, Volume, IPython, SQL, Scikit, Learn, SciPy, etc. Which means that those are the basic tools that you use for manipulating, cleaning data in Python. And it's a great, uh, great technological start for, for beginners to start with. Um, and the products involved, this is what, uh, what they describe. Uh, random algorithm generator, predicting housing prices, classifier models, uh, and battle of neighborhoods. Uh, so we have a jump into that as well. So this is the general ad. And here you have at the bottom of the page different courses that are part of IBM Data Science Professional Certificate. Now I'm going to click to some of those courses uh, in detail and then you will see how to enroll to those courses for free. Uh, because you can't do that for the whole certificate, you can do that for individual courses though. Uh, so as you can see, they start with uh, what is data science, then the, the very basic course discussing, uh, that's why I said it's also for business people because it doesn't, the first couple of courses doesn't assume that you know how to code. Uh, you don't have to need any kind of a coding background to start. They really show you everything. So this is like that for the first couple of courses, for the first couple of videos. Uh, you don't really have to have any, uh, any kind of experience with coding, uh, which is great. This is like great start for beginners. And you, as you can start, all of those courses have really great uh, ratings. Um, so let me, let me show you first what is data science. This is the very first course. I have already opened that uh, in another, uh, another um, tab. So this is the course. Uh, so let me, for example, jump uh, into what's inside. As you can see, this is defining data science, what data scientists do, uh, data science topics. We probably can go, uh, for example, to week three uh, and I can click on videos. And then you will be able to view, you have all these uh, materials in, in form of the videos. And so for example, how should companies get started with data science? Uh, you will have a video uh, here, which will start playing uh, uh, of a person discussing how, uh, how companies uh, get started in data science. Uh, so, so that's really great. And then in those first lectures, you also have lecture notes. So this comes in the form of the uh, d deliverables. So let's have a look inside. Uh, this is basically like a one page summary of what was in the course. So yeah, this is the, this is the, the, the thing here. Um, 
So again, uh, there are a couple of uh, videos here for each week. Uh, and if I were to go back to the, to the first course, maybe I can show you how to do it with uh, a different one. Uh, if I were to open, for example, tools for data science, uh, I'm opening the second course from this IBM data science certificate. Uh, then uh, you basically can see here um, the course. And I should have the option somewhere uh, to enroll uh, into that or maybe let, let me see how it goes. Yeah, so basically, uh, as you can see, I can try enrolling for free and there's this free trial, but apart from the free trial, I'd be also able to audit the course. So this is data science. I click next and there at the bottom of the screen, you have this audit the course and I'm clicking that. And if I click that, then I go directly to the course and I'd be able to review the whole material for free uh, without having to pay which means uh, that's great, as I said, for browsing the materials. And uh, if you don't need a certificate, then that's definitely a way to go. Uh, so yeah, this is basically how it was before. Uh, I can then look at particular videos, what I want to see. Uh, but let's go back to different materials because there's another cool thing that I want to show you in this, uh, why IBM Data Science Professional Certificate is so great, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I basically, jumped into farther along the way. I, I really wasn't concerned with this basic uh, courses so much, but it's really great with the later courses on data analysis, visualization, machine learning with Python, because uh, you get to really code and you get uh, to work with really well-prepared um, Jupyter notebooks. So I have already jumped into machine learning with Python for you. So let's go into that directly. So for example, this is how it looks like. Let's go to the overview um, overview of the whole uh, machine learning with Python. Uh, and basically what you have here is, uh, first of all, introduction, and then the bunch of uh, very standard techniques and the general discussion of regression, classification, clustering, recommender systems, and then you do the final project. Uh, so uh, let's go to clustering. Uh, basically clustering is uh, segmenting data into different clusters as the name says. Uh, so what's really great is that you have these videos uh, playing, for example, and describing to you what's clustering, um, showing you data and how like, it's really well explained with all the graphics what's clustering. Uh, but if you think this is fluff, which you might think because like, like there's no math mathematical theory behind that or no equations to show, no code also. Uh, well, that's true, but then you can go to the uh, to the uh, this lab k-means, which is basically what it does. It will take you to the external uh, Jupyter notebook where you can play around uh, on the cloud, uh, so you don't you don't even have to install every, anything on your computer. And this is the greatest part of this course, I think, because uh, you don't even have to install anything. You don't have to even know how to um, set up anything on your laptop, and you can do that literally everywhere. Uh, so I think I have opened that already somewhere. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, Jupyter notebook that you're getting uh, from this particular course on k-means. So basically I already run that to see what's going on uh, and it's doing standard stuff. You, you're getting this well-explained Jupyter notebook with uh, importing libraries, then you're going into uh, generating random blobs and then visualizing that. So you have the code for all that and you can play around already uh, with that uh, here on the cloud. Uh, so that's great. Uh, and then you have k-means explain and how you can run them uh, easily. So I think they're using uh, Scilearn uh, for that here. Yeah. So that's one thing. Another thing which works really great is also for density-based clustering. This is also, uh, I think that was, uh, yeah, that's uh, week three uh, of this particular course. So machine learning with Python. 
and again uh, it's really great to have really well prepared notebook Jupyter notebook where you can test everything um, and start visualizing everything on the cloud so again you don't have to install anything to uh, to check how it's uh, how it's working and you're getting uh, results right uh, in front of you there's a little practice that you can do uh, basically to test your skills and which is really great uh, then they also give you different data data sets that you can access so as you can see on the left here I have a couple of Jupyter notebooks open and a couple uh, two CSV files so basically this is all happening within Coursera so this is not my own Jupyter lab uh, this is happening within Coursera so this is really really great uh, yeah, so as you can see, uh, I'm loading the data set and here I'm seeing the first five, row five rows uh, and we're coming here to the visualization and I'm getting these maps uh, here. So I have already pre-compiled everything to be able to see, show you quickly what's going on. Yeah, so basically that, that's what I wanted to show you and there's different quizzes. Uh, if we go back to uh, all the courses, then machine learning uh, with Python was the last course before applied data science capstone, which is basically like more a practical, practical um, approach to data science where they make a summary of everything you learn and make you apply that for like a real use case with real data uh, to see how it works. Uh, so in the end, I think this is like a really great course for beginners, especially if you have uh, no experience with coding, no experience with data science, uh, then this seems to be at, at the very right uh, pace, very right tempo for beginners to start. Uh, also with this auditing for free, this is absolutely perfect. Uh, you can start, see a couple of courses, see if it's for you, uh, then buy the whole certificate if you don't have any uh, for example degree in computer science or anything like that then that's perfect uh, if not just go with the with the free courses free watching and then code along the way uh, I think it's uh, it's great knowledge for, for for starting with data science yeah so thank you for watching I really wanted to review this course because this is one of the most popular courses on Coursera uh, at least for the last year or two uh, together with machine learning uh, from Stanford, of course, by Andrew and G. Uh, probably also do like more in-depth uh, reviews of particular courses on my YouTube channel. So if you want to watch them as well, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a like if you like this kind of content and see you in the next episode.